From the 2013 International CES in Las Vegas, this is another Into Tomorrow ITTV special report. Can you imagine the ability to mute your TV by a simple shh gesture or something like that? <laughs> or have your TV recognize your presence or lack thereof and then pause when you walk out of the room? Now, that's cool. I like that, right? Somebody, the doorbell rings or you just got to run to the kitchen because you got to get a beer, whatever the case, and your TV just pauses. Your DVR stops for you. You don't have to do anything else out of that. Well, our next guest can help you do just that. He's the CEO of Cube26, Saurav Kumar. How are, how are you, sir? Hey, I'm doing fine. Thank you for having me on the show. It's a pleasure to have you because when we heard this, this is a little bit different than some of the other kinds of things. And we have a lot of companies doing some gesture technology yeah. and, you know, wave in front of the screen. And, do, and maybe change the volume or a channel. Or, and typically, if you sneeze, now you're watching another channel. I mean, there's all kinds of things that need to be fine-tuned. But you've taken it a step further to do some different things. Yeah, so the, the way we are trying to do this thing is basically we are trying to understand how a human communicate to each other. So I'm like, I'm looking at you. I have certain emotion. I'm like happy. And I hope if you're <laughs> looking at me, you're happy. But yeah, you yeah, can I mean, sad. during the time, like I mean, <laughs> when I'm watching the show or something. And then there's things like, you know, I mean, you recognize me you know my age and I mean you get some of these kind of ideas right so we tried this human interaction thing from a human kind of perspective and then we take it to machines and the another thing that we try to bring into the machines is that we don't want human to kind of learn how to interact with devices for example right now if you take any of these uh, consumer HDTV smart TV you have to do everything with the hand and it becomes like you have to learn before you can operate with it what we are trying to do is the way you communicate with other people, like for example, you have a kid, you do shush, right? I mean, yeah. they understand that you are asking them to keep quiet. Yeah, so even even as as they get very, uh, as they are very young, they begin to understand, understand those that. things. So same yeah. thing. Now you do to TV or to this device, and then like just mute the volume for you. So it's like you didn't have to think, you don't have to find your remote control, you just do that thing. And like you walk out of the room, it knows that, okay, he's not watching the show, let me pause it for him, yeah. you're away for 20 minutes, it turns off the TV and different kinds of things. And another good point is your finger doesn't get lost in the couch cushions, generally. Exactly. So <laughs> if you're doing a gesture <laughs> or for, yeah, for, yeah, for yeah. being quiet, right? Yeah. So now, tell me about the whole idea of stopping the VCR, uh, the, v uh, the, the VCR. <laughs> Boy, all of a sudden I went into yesterday. The DVR, if we get up and leave the room. That so the way it's trying to do that is like the camera is trying to look at the body. like So it's do some kind of geometry, body processing. So it tries to understand like, oh, there's a human being. Yeah. And it knows that, okay, if you're looking at the TV or looking somewhere else, and when you leave the room, it knows that, okay, there's no one else present. I mean, there's no need to run. So it, it can, like, pause the show. And then it keeps a count, just like tick, 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 tick. And yeah. then it's, okay, it's 10 minutes. And then maybe you can set those settings to, like, okay, if there's no one for 10 minutes, just turn it off. Oh, so power down. And yeah, now we're so saving energy. Yeah, so that's electricity, internet bill. If it's, like, you're streaming something and you're not there, right? I mean, right. Ah, some other good point. Now, is this technology available to us yeah, as consumers I mean, right now? Uh, at Consumer, we'll be launching very soon. We are talking to some of the consumer company, and that's why we're at CES good and trying to, to talk here. to these brands and uh, trying to get our technology integrated into them. So, But we have a demo on our website. I mean, we have a whole setup at the Cube26 booth at CES. Good. And soon we'll have some kind of product. We have some demo apps on the iPad. And all. Okay, well, first you have to promise me that you let us know when things are available for the public. So Definitely. we'll talk about them on the show and let people know that now is the chance to experience these things. But I understand you also have some parental control yeah, capability Yeah, the parental well. control is like, you know, I mean, when kids are there at home and uh, there are shows, I mean, that has adulterated content and these kind of things. So the TV automatically identifies, oh, there's a kid in the show. It fast forwards the scene or it can block it so that, you know, I mean, if you're not there, there's some kind of parental control going on in wow. the house. So you guys are thinking of some cool things. I like that. I mean, it's a whole different set of benefits, including for parents with young children. Exactly. Uh, and we do want to creep them out. We want to find the value. I mean, things that parent wants. I mean, even if there's a camera watching, right? I mean, and yeah. we do everything internally, so nothing gets sent over. So everything is done internally, secured. So there is no worry. Yeah, you're you're not watching us uh, at your home office or something. Yeah, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, good. Yeah. Well, I just had to have make sure to ask. <laughs> you know, I can I can hear some of our audience in my head saying. Oh, but what about, wait, would it be a camera watching? And, <laughs> and it's only local. Yeah, it's, it's only everything is sort of local. And even though images are taken, it's uh, everything we do look, uh, on the memory, and then we flush that out. 
Gotcha. All righty. Cube 26. So it's cube26.com yeah. for more info. And you must stay in touch with us so we can share Definitely with our audience love when they can to try be it. in touch and talk more about it. Excellent. Thank you, sir. We're back with more from Las Vegas as Into Tomorrow continues from the International CES, the 2013 edition. I'm Dave Graveline on the Advanced Media Network. Thank you.